So this is the most recent Great Eastern Cutlery knife release, and this is the number 74 Mustang. Um, the Mustang has a drop point, and I think the other 74 is called a Stallion, and I think that has the clip point. Uh, but this is the Mustang. I was lucky enough to get in on the Collector Knives early reserve list for this knife. Uh, that obviously probably isn't going to happen very often. Uh, but I got the email confirmation and I knew I wanted one of these 74s. So I went over and there were two there were um, two options still available for reserve. Uh, at the point at the time it just said jig bone and burlap micarta. Um, the burlap micarta was tempting, but I generally like jig bone on my slip joint knives for the most part. Uh, so I reserved I put in to reserve one of these. Um, and then I was thinking about doing for the burlap my card or two, but then I decided that I didn't really need two 74s and I would probably be happier with the jig bone. So I'll just let somebody else have that reserve for the burlap my card. Uh, but anyway, this knife retailed for, well, it sold for under a hundred dollars. I think it was like 85, it was under $90. I don't remember exactly. I'd have to check, uh, what I paid on collector knives and I don't really it doesn't matter that much. It's, it was less than ninety dollars um, when I bought it. Now on eBay, they're going for like you know two hundred plus, obviously, because that's what people do. Um, but anyway, this is in the black plum jig bone. You can see there is some purple there. Um, there's also some purple up here, which you can kind of see, I think. And there's also a little bit of purple on this side, which you might kind of be able to see I can't really tell um, it's got this like badge shield or whatever that I like quite a bit the jigging I'm not necessarily all that crazy about it's a very polished um, bone I think because there's not a lot of jigging in it and uh, yeah but I mean it's done pretty well I'm just not a huge fan of the jigging itself uh, that being said I do really like this cover material because Purple is my favorite color, and it is really dark, but you can see a little bit of purple, uh, which is nice, and it'll, it might uh, fade a little bit over time and lighten up a little bit. It's kind of what I'm hoping. Uh, but yeah, this knife's right around the same size as like the Case Sodbuster Jr. or the 71 Bullnose that Great Eastern Cutlery makes, so it's right around... You know, like the perfect size for a smaller single bladed pocket knife. You can fit, well, I can fit all my fingers on the uh, handle portion of the knife really comfortably. The only thing that would make this a little bit more comfortable would be if the knife was just a little bit thicker, but then it wouldn't uh, go into your pocket as well. Uh, so you need to make little like sacrifices like that, obviously. It's got this cool etch on the blade that is of a horse. I assume a Mustang since that's what the knife is called. This is of course the Tidiute the Tidiute model. I think the Northwoods models are Arizona Ironwood and Stag of course. And the Stag looked pretty cool. So did the Ironwood. Uh, but of course both of those were gone on the early reserves by the time I got to them. Uh, but yeah, I think this is going to be it for the 74. Uh, yeah, and I'm planning on putting this up on Tuesday. So if you're watching this Tuesday morning, uh, today is November 3rd and it's, you know, the day to go vote. So if you live in the United States, you might want to go do that.